Good afternoon and welcome to our video on multiplying decimals. Uh, today we are looking at doing regular long multiplication but we are introducing the idea of decimals into it. So there have been some questions around it so I wanted to do a video and that way you can come and look uh, whenever it's convenient for you about how we're going to do this. Okay we're going to start off when we have our question in this case we're doing 567.4 times 3.4 when we do our multiplication, we're going to ignore those decimals completely, as if they don't even exist. We're going to start off just by doing regular long multiplication. We do 4 times 4 gives us 16, so I'm going to put the 6 down in the what would have been the 1's column, so the answer underneath the line on the far right, and I'm going to carry the 1. I can't put the 1 down here because that space is required for the next multiplication that I do. That's why we carry up there, because the 1 is for the 10's column, the 6 is for the 1's column. Next is 4 times 7, gives me 28. I need to add that extra 1 into there, that 1, so 28 plus 1 is 29. Put down the 9, carry the 2. 4 times 6 is 24, add my 2, becomes 26. 4 times 5 is 20. Add my 2, 22. For the second line, what I'm doing is, again, if we ignore the fact that there's a decimal in there, I'm not multiplying 567.4 times 3. I'm multiplying 567.4 times 30. As a result, the easiest way to do that is to put a 0 in right here in the 1's column, again, if we ignore this, and that acts as a placeholder. 3 times 4. Can I put the 2 from the 12 down here, and I carry the 1. 3 times 7, 21. There's a 1 up top to add to it. It's giving me 22. 3 times 6, 18. That plus 2 gives me 20. 3 times 5, 15. Plus 2, 17. Ooh, close. Almost ran out of room. I'm now going to add these two together. So 6 plus 0 is 6, 9 plus 2 is 11, carry the 1 up there, 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 and 7 is 9, and drop the 1. Now I'm going to talk about these decimals again. The way I figure out how to add these in is I count how many digits are after the decimal in the question. Here I've got one number after the decimal, so that's 1. Here I've got another one after the decimal, so that's 2. Two numbers after the decimal in the question, two numbers after the decimal in the answer. So my answer, 567.4 times 3.4, 1929.16. And to just kind of give uh, an idea of whether this makes sense or not, let's round that off for a second. So 567.4 is between 5 and 600, a little bit closer to 600. So if I had 600 times 3, get rid of that, I know that 3 times 6 is 18, so this would be roughly 1800 but I know it's much bigger than 3, it's 3.4, so I know that the answer that I should have is somewhere between 600 times 3 and 600 times 4, which is 2,400. 